Hey fellow YouTubers and Hot Wheels collectors, how y'all doing out there today? It's Hot Wheels Bart here with you. We're back with another finds video. Uh, me and my brother Joe, my wife Donna, and my sister-in-law Gina went out riding around and uh, we found ourselves a few little goodies, uh, a few things we'd like to, that I'd like to share. First off, I haven't been seeing a whole lot of the short card stuff coming out. And I happened to find this on a short card, and I said, you know, I just got to get that. Even though I've got it already, uh, I got to get that. It's on a short card. Maybe a short card collector out there that may be looking for it. And also, I believe the production numbers of the short cards may be down this year. Because I had heard rumor that they were going to stop them, and a lot of the stores around me are not stocking them now like they used to. Uh... I mean, I don't see any anymore hanging at any Walmarts on the pegs. Uh, and you see very few of them at like a Kmart or a Price Chopper or anything like that. So, with that said, I think that, you know, I might start buying some of these that I like and whatnot just to have them on the short card. Uh, but I picked up the uh, 70 Plymouth Superbird. Next one I picked up was the... 85 or 86 oh goodness uh, 86 Camaro Chevrolet Camaro IROC Z in the red um, I needed this one here as an opener uh, I think I may save the short card one and open the long card one that I have instead of opening this one here because like I said I'm not sure on the variations there may be far and few in between next up we got ourselves a wheel variation on a short card. Now this is a five spoke wheel variation on the 69 Pontiac Firebird TA which I think myself is pretty cool. I like that. I ended up picking up two of them. So we got them there. Alrighty and next up I'm a 57 Chevy nut and of course I found me a Hot Ones 57 Chevy. I do have one of these open. This one here, I may trade it or sell it if I get the right offer on it, but it's not one that I'm looking to get rid of. But if somebody makes me an offer I can't refuse, well, they'll own it. And I know people like the 57 Chevys. Alrighty. Next up, we got ourselves a Double Demon Delivery. This is the, from the 2010 series, uh, delivery series, and I basically got one of each. Uh, I've got one through 34, um, at least one color of each one of the castings. This one here, I had the red and the, the silver, red and silver one, I believe, but I did not have this one here, and I happened to find this on the pegs, and I like it, so of course I had to grab it. Next up, we're going to do a couple errors that I found. First one is right here. It is a Dodge Viper GTSR, and as you can see, the tampo on it, the K&N, is practically missing. And there's some missing black right there along the top there, but the the K&N is actually missing. You, you can't even tell that. Uh, you can tell Sutton was supposed to be there, but there's nothing left of it. So there's a a uh, tampo error. Next up, we get ourselves an Austin Martin DBS with no window glass in it at all. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's no glass in this car at all. No windows at all in this car. The Austin Martin DBS. I'm an error collector, but I don't really collect the foreign stuff or whatever. Well, I can't say that because actually I have started collecting some of the tuner foreign stuff. But, anyways, what I'm going to say is this is available. If somebody is interested in this, make me a fair offer on it, and it could be yours. Alrighty. Last but not least is this here. I am a 67 to 72 Chevy truck. No, I love my 67 to 72 Chevy trucks. And as you all know, a bunch of you know, I am rebuilding a 
72 four wheel drive and uh, of course I spotted this on the pegs last night my wife also spotted it and of course she has stolen it so she now is the proud owner of this 72 Chevy Cheyenne and all I can do is stand by and drool on it I hope you guys all enjoyed the video stay tuned we're going to have lots more videos coming and hopefully we can get back to the basics of the Hot Wheels trend. Alrighty guys, happy hunting, Hot Wheels Burt, we'll see you later. Thank you.